Hello, ha, BBs. I'm Dan the Wolfman. Thank you for tuning in to Friday Night Fights. Shukran. Tonight, guys, I am bringing you Desert Force 23 action with full permission from the owner, Zaid. And guys, I'll be bringing you fights from around the world, including Desert Force, Art of War in China, and hopefully others. Stay tuned for this fight, and probably after this tonight, we'll have an Art of War fight as well. That's the plan for every Friday night fight. As you hear, Yusuf Wabi, the Silverback, fighting out of Phuket top team, six foot one, 170 pounds. He's 27, standing at one meter 77, originally practicing kickboxing, fighting out of Jordan, Tarek Hamdi. Tarek Hamdi, fighting out of the Predators Den, five and three in MMA record. Kickboxer, quite a bit shorter, it looks like, perhaps even fighting up in weight. Not, not as short as some of the records told me they would be, so there's not as big of a difference. Yusef has a 4-4 four four record. Tarek has a 5-3 record. Kickboxing versus MMA, uh, kickboxing versus Muay Thai background, so hopefully this one will be exciting. Guys, I'm watching it for the first time, calling for, calling it for you in English, again, with full permission from the CEO and owner. Tarek starts with the left high kick, measuring the distance. I like the guard a bit better. Yosef, a little more Muay Thai, a little more upright fighting stance, exchanging some kicks. Inside kick. By Hamdi, Wabi tries a front kick. In the clinch now. Better Muay Thai clinch by Yusuf. Gets turned to the cage. Yusuf's height helping him out, but Hamdi, good. High right underhook makes the good turn. Knees to the thigh. More knees to the thigh. Those are pretty good there. Referee warning him for some cage grabbing, it looks like. Breaks them apart. Oh, maybe there was a low blow. I'm assuming they give him the five minutes for the low blow. Ooh, shaking it out. Hoping he has a uh, Thai steel cup on him from his Muay Thai days. Personally, I like a Thai cup put into a regular jock strap to make it easier. Oh, ding it a ding it to the pills. And the action starts back up again. Hamdi tries a catch and a low kick. Nice single leg whip down to the ground. Good kick to the legs and the one up, one down. Ali Inoki position calls him back up. Actually, both guys looking skilled, so I'm getting excited to watch this one live. Live for me, watching it live for me, I should say, for the first time. Tries to skip up, switch kick, switch stance, right hook, shift, but gets taken down with another single leg high crotch, Daniel Cormier style, caught in a bit of a guillotine, but those legs are pretty low on the body. I'm not sure, I don't think he'll be able to pull this off. Now climbing up the back with those legs, a decent arm and guillotine attempt, but look at where his elbow is, guys. You need to watch my catch YouTube channel to learn all these things, nine advanced guillotines. That elbow is a little too high there, meaning that he's only cutting off one artery and not the throat or both arteries. Not comfortable. Saps your energy, saps both guys' energy if you hold on to it. 
for too long, I want to point out. So guys, I want to say thank you to Desert Force for giving me the permission to re-commentate these fights in English to get it out to the English-speaking world. I'm leaving the Arabic uh, in the background to give it a little more feel, guys. Let me know in the future. Do you want me to cut the original audio or leave it in the background, which gives you a little bit more of the action vibe. Some good elbows being landed now by Tarak Hamdi. In the full guard of Yusuf. Wahabi. <laughs> Going for a double wrist lock Kimura here, guys. Hopefully my pronunciation is decent. People don't know I lived six months in Egypt and Africa. I've also spent eight months in Malaysia, another officially Muslim country. <laughs> little low on that Kimura double wrist lock. Little low, guys. I like to wrap up high to the shoulder to control the whole arm. He's turned a little too far sideways, and he gives up on it now. But, guys, uh, for a Middle Eastern fight from a few years ago, I'm highly impressed with the skill of both guys so far, actually. Much better than, than often we usually see. Trying to pass. Yusuf doing a good job of retaining guards thus far. Jammed up against the cage as we get the aerial view. And the half and half guard. Half butterfly guard. Not going to full butterfly guard. See if he tries to sweep. Tarek needs to posture up and land some elbows, team punishment style. Like when I was on Tito Ortiz's team punishment with Rampage, Mayhem Miller, 310 pound Scary Jerry, who I armbarred with my trial week out there in a uh, advanced absolute tournament that Tito said, get your shorts on and do it, even though I was covering it for Ultimate Athlete magazine the whole day. And there's the end of the first round. Good action by both guys. Though I would give that first round to Tarek because he gets the takedowns. He gets on top. Good round kick catch. And now turns it into a chain pull single leg. And he got a outside head single uh, Daniel Cormier style. So it looks like maybe there's a slight Muay Thai advantage to Yusuf, but it looks like there's the wrestling advantage to Terry. The ground grappling looks about easy, even because Hamdi probably could have passed that guard a couple times, uh, but Yusuf. Wahabi did a good job of retaining guard. Not sure who those commentators are. Uh, it's been a while since I looked at my friend Monir Snipers. Was that him? I, 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 was, I was too worried about commentating. Not sure who those commentators were. Maybe people listening to some of my recent videos might want to pay attention to the vast background I've had living around the world and living in different states. Interacting with different people of different backgrounds. Inside kick by Hamdi. And a bit of a side push kick, Thai style. Tries to overhand right, but now we're seeing the height disparity, the reach disparity coming into play. Oh, good long hooks by Hamdi Lan. He needs to close. There he goes. That's the right distance for him right now. Overhand right misses, but the left round kick to the body seemed to land. Good punch lands there, and another follow up with the left liver kick. I'm quite surprised uh, Hamdi is able to get in there with these overhands and these long Russian style hooks and land it. 
Hamdi's doing some good action. He's landing more shots. Guys, Yusuf with the height and reach advantage should be sticking a jab. You see he's too upright with that Muay Thai background. He's not doing too many push kicks. He's not throwing a jab. The jab establishes the distance for everything. And you see he generally has that kind of more Muay Thai style with the lack of footwork. Now into the clinch, over under it looks like. Pushing in hard there is Yusuf Wahbi with the underhook. Got double underhooks now. Good head position. The taller Phuket top team. Guys, you can see me. I got some grappling videos at Phuket top team over the years. I've got sparring and grappling videos at uh, AKA Thailand you might want to check out. I think I have... I think I have some grappling videos, but unfortunately not sparring uh, videos. Uh, not, not a good place to put up the camera at uh, uh, Tiger Muay Thai. They're on Tiger Road, where Tiger Muay Thai have got top team our guys. And then American, uh, uh, aka Thailand's a bit, a bit farther south of there on its own road. Shout out to a couple of great restaurants there on Phuket. Uh, uh, and, and, uh, uh, on that road. Going in for the double leg now. Getting countered with a guillotine attempt. Gets the double leg takedown. Should be trying to work his way out of that guard and hopping to the other side now. Or posturing up on his feet to relieve pressure. Okay, he's taking the arm out now. Uh, looking for wrist control. You should actually be looking for lift, wrist control on the left hand. With the right hand going over it if it's not caught in a tight overhook and arming guillotine. To go over the shoulder handman style. Posture up on your feet. Put weight on it to relieve that pressure. Guys, you can learn all that stuff on my catch jitsu. YouTube channel. Turning the corner, might be able to get to the back here. Good upward posture now. Oh, good double leg takedown. Needs to stay past that guard though. Steps in a half guard. That's okay. Could he actually go for a Von Flu. Walks around, passes the guard. Now they're good. Downward elbows and forearm shivers. Yusuf Webby taking the silverback, taking control of the action. Nice downward elbows here. We see some inexperience here by Tarek holding on to that head. It's okay for a little while. You got to watch for the Von Flu. But you got to strip your hips out quickly and get that left knee in to get back to guard. Good control and ground and pound action now from the Phuket top team fighter. That holding the leg there, not doing a lot. I like to frame out on the uh, hip line with that left arm. Or he could give up on it and try to get a deeper, better grab on the body or better yet. Do a big bridge, shrimp out, bring the left knee through to try and get back to guard. Anyone listening that's not familiar, I've trained martial arts 34 years. Have four black belts, karate, taekwondo, hardcore Japanese, kyokushin, offshoot, MMA, karate, daido, juko. Taekwondo, highest time grappling system from Gene LaBelle and Gokar Shevichian. Make sure Jujo, judo, jujitsu, catch wrestling, all grappling styles, sambo. As well as Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Combo and Nikito, known for catch wrestling, Sistema as well. Seeing the action, surprisingly, it was Tarak Hamdi doing better in the stand up in the second round. And reverse of the first round, it was Yusuf Wabi, the silverback, doing better in the second round in the ground grappling and wrestling. So we got some good back and forth action. 
بس مباراة لحتى الآن الأولى والثانية حلوين حلوة حلو كثير حلوة يعني أنت مستمتع معنا أنا مستمتع كثير وأنا متحمس هلا في المباراة الثانية أنا مفروض أكون هلا بس أرجع بحضي أوفر إن ذا ميدل إيست نورث أفريكان ريجن Some places not the cleanest, but some places very nice, very good food, very well priced. You can see some of my travels over there to the Egyptian pyramids, guys to a uh, beautiful cinema and area I, I live next to. You. Um, so if you want to see some uh, Wolfman of Arabia videos, I think I have it called on my YouTube channel. And in different places like Malaysia, like Japan, like Thailand, I got some of those type of travel videos. Back to the action now. Hamdi starting with a jab to the body. Lands some good punches and follows it up with that liver kick. You know, Yusuf needs to work on his defensive skills. Really not picking up those kicks, not picking up those punches. Just holding the guard, but without guarding. Better lateral, better lateral footwork there. He's trying to remind himself of a bad spinning back attempt. Goes into a double leg by Yusuf. I think he'll finish it, and he does. Now, now trying to secure that takedown against the cage. Hamdi trying to work his way back up. Guys, these fights happen in Gazir Stadium in beautiful Lebanon. الآن يعني بدأ النزال من الأربع دقائق على الأرض فهل يا ترى عزاء المشاهدين مثل ما أشرنا لازم الجمهور يعني يتثقف أول شيء أي نزال ينتهي Getting back to full guard now a little low on the hips you should raise those legs as high as you can at all times guys working the close guard a forgotten art the close guard which you know is the jujitsu roots of self defense and then valley judo nhb mma fighting the close guard quite the forgotten art jujitsu schools nowadays even though that's the skill students most likely going to need that's where you land off of takedowns most often climbing the guard now but it's a little loose I don't think he'll get this arm bar. He should be able to pull that arm out and turn the corner. Good. Oh, land some good ground and pound. Pretty sloppy, loose arm bar attempt by Hamdi on the bottom. Could have been passed by now, actually. Decently now, but I don't think it's going to work. I've been wrong before. Honestly, in, in the position on top, I would have done two hammer fists and then turned the corner, which he finally does. Didn't do it with a good enough head pressure and posture. Uh, people, you grapplers, fighters, you need to learn how to move like a wrestler. Wrestling's not just takedowns. All right, into side control here. Landing some good ground upon taking the back. Now in the front headlock position, could actually cradle him there, which is uh, something I would do. There's a cradle. Happy to see it. There's a cradle. Heck yeah. Get the top control, work on a bit of chokes, maybe a knee to the body. As you hear the commentator, side control. For the top man. Landing some good forearms again. See if he tries to take the back here. No, back to the front headlock. Got the arm in. Oh, and lands a good knee to the body. They break apart. Referee putting the mouth guard back in of Tarak Hamdi. Ooh. Yusuf looking gas. Let's see if Hamdi can. Hamdi needs to go aggressive with some long hooks here. Tarak stepping and walking away, showing his gas. Fighters, don't ever do that. Oh, please don't do that. Both guys gas. Bad spinning back fist attempt. Warabi calling him on. 
Going in for the double leg against the cage again. I think he'll get it. Let's see. Lifting him up. Get the hands gripped together. Turning. Bam. Pretty good slam. Get the crowd going out on the action. Guys, I hope you're enjoying Wolfman's Friday Night Fights. Remember, I'm gonna, I usually get a call, at least for now, one Desert Force fight, one Art of War fight. From somewhere in the Middle East, from somewhere in China. And hopefully some other events will give me the permission to do the same, to bring you the action. Called in English, Yusuf riding on top and half guard to finish up this fight. See a nice embrace, good sportsmanship there. Oh, I gotta think back, guys. Who do you think won this one? Pretty bad spinning hook kick or spinning wheel kick attempt there. That ended up in a double leg takedown from Yusuf Rabi. Guys, thank you. Shukran. Shukran. Habibi is for tuning in. I hope you enjoy this action. There's not been a ton of MMA events with everything that's been going around in the world and certainly not on Friday nights. That's why I decided, at least for now, Wolfman's Friday Night Fights, bringing you the action. Uh, who do you guys think won this? Uh, I, I, thinking back, I think Hamdi took the first round. Better striking... Yusuf, think he got the takedowns in the second round. Probably controlled more of the second round. Probably Yusuf in the second round. Probably Yusuf in the third round. Two to one. Let's see if old Wolfman's right. Do you guys agree? Was it two rounds to one? Unanimous decision. Yusuf. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing the last name wrong. Webby. Could be Wahibi or Wahibi. Depending on spelling, depending on region, I believe. The Silverback uh, fighting out of Phuket top team. Takes this one. Needs to work on his striking defense. I wonder if his later fights, if he has worked on his striking defense uh, better. But he toughs through it. Guys, if you are newer to my channel, I got a, like 500 new subscribers this month. Thank you all. Trying to bring you different action, guys. The current plan is... Mondays, probably 3 p.m. EDT EST time for a martial arts video. Wednesdays, a more tactical type of CCW type of video or flashlight review, holster reviews, things of that nature. And Friday night fights, probably going to bring you two, if not more, MMA fights or other fights perhaps in the future. Uh, Friday night, 8 p.m. EDT, EST is the current plan. Let me know if you think I should change those times a little bit. But that way you guys know what to tune into, when to tune into it. I hope you're enjoying the action. Guys, stay tuned. Because uh, probably in about seven or eight minutes, minutes after this, I'll premiere a Art of War fight from China. That's the current game plan. Hopefully I can get that filmed uh, before tonight at 8 p.m. EDT and 8.30 EDT EST, if you will. Guys, please thumbs up. Please share. Please subscribe. I'm Dan the Wolfman. Thank you for tuning in. Shukran. Let's all work together. Let's all work together, all good people. Let's all work together in America and around the world.